Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back to our echocardiography red suit review. Feel free to pause the video after I ask the question if there's nothing to answer it before I answer it. Let's dive into this thing. Drag and drop the letter X on the warfarin ridge. The answer is going to be right here. That's the warfarin ridge or the cuminid ridge. Which will underestimate the true severity of tricuspid regurgitation? A. Dilated tricuspid annulus. B. Compression turned too low. C. Angles close to zero degrees. Or D. Reject turned too high. The answer is A, dilated tricuspid annulus. Where is the proximal right coronary artery located? A, along the anterior interventricular groove. B, along the atrioventricular groove. C, along the posterior interventricular groove. Or is it D, along the atrial arterial groove? The answer is B, along the atrioventricular groove. Where does this action potential plateau? A, phase 0, B, phase 1, C, phase 2, D, phase 3, or E, phase 4? The answer is phase two. Click on the left main coronary artery. The answer is going to be right in this region here. Which will overestimate the severity of mitral stenosis? A, underestimating the mitral area. B, underestimating the PHT or the pressure half time. C, underestimating the deceleration time. Or D, overestimating the planimetry. The answer is A, underestimating the mitral area. This means that you're estimating the mitral valve area to be too small, which would make the mitral stenosis more severe, overestimating it. Which will not cause the mitral valve to close early? A, mitral valve prolapse. B, elevated preload. C, increased left ventricular and diastolic pressure. Or is it D, aortic regurgitation? The answer is A, the mitral valve prolapse will not make the mitral valve close early. When performing a bubble study in a patient with a persistent left superior vena cava, where do you insert the IV? A, right arm, B, left arm, C, left foot, or D, right foot? The answer is B, left arm. How do you minimize this artifact? A, increase reject. B, increase wall filter. C, decrease gain. Or D, decrease PRF. The answer is C, decrease gain. Where was this waveform recorded? 
A, Purkinje fibers, B, sinoatrial node, C, atrioventricular node, or D, bundle of hips? The answer is A, Purkinje fibers. What is the advantage of using continuous wave instead of using pulse wave Doppler when evaluating mitral regurgitation? A, angle independent. B, range specificity. C, freedom from range ambiguity. Or D, peak velocities. The answer is D, peak velocities. What type of artifact is this? A, side lobe, B, enhancement, C, range ambiguity, or D, crosstalk. The answer is D, crosstalk. When performing a bubble study in a patient with a persistent left superior vena cava, where will you see the bubbles first? A, left atrium, B, right atrium, C, coronary sinus, or D, inferior vena cava? The answer is C, coronary sinus. Which artifact can lead to an aortic dissection false positive? A, mirror image, B, cometel, C, reverberation, or D, range ambiguity? The answer is C, reverberation. Which will increase frame rate the most to better visualize a valvular vegetation? A. Decreased depth. B. Decreased sector size. C. Increased scanning lines. Or D. Zoom on region of interest. The answer is D. Zoom on the region of interest. At what point will an actual potential threshold be met? A, zero millivolts, B, negative 55 millivolts, C, negative 70 millivolts, or D, 50 millivolts? The answer is B, minus 55 millivolts. Where can the left circumflex be found? A. Coronary sulcus B. Posterior interventricular groove C. Anterior interventricular groove Or is it D. Atrial arterial groove? The answer is A. Coronary sulcus. What must happen to the frame rate when you evaluate pleural effusion in the personal long axis view? A increases, B decreases, C nothing, or D at first worsens but then improves? The answer is B, decreases, because you have to increase your depth. And anytime you increase your depth, your frame rate and your temporal resolution go down. Which of the following occurs when you use color Doppler to evaluate regurgitation? A, line density decreases. B, dynamic range decreases. C, temporal resolution decreases. Or D, lateral resolution decreases.
The answer is C, temporal resolution decreases. Which will have the greatest effect for improving this image? A, increases scale. B, decreased pulse repetition frequency. C, continuous wave Doppler. Or D, increased operating frequency. The answer is C, continuous wave Doppler. Where was this action potential recorded? A, Purkinje fibers. B, sinoatrial node. C, atrioventricular node. Or D, apex of the heart. The answer is B, sinoatrial node. What is the arrow pointing to? A, beam width artifact, B, left atrial appendage clot, C, spectral broadening, or D, pulmonary vein clot. The answer is A, beam width artifact. What causes directional ambiguity artifacts when using spectral Doppler? A, Doppler angle of 90 degrees. B, velocities higher than Nyquist limit. C, spectral gains are too low. Or D, nearby smooth curved surface. The answer is A, Doppler angle of 90 degrees. What structure is being evaluated here? A, left lower pulmonary vein, B, left upper pulmonary vein, C, left atrial appendage, or D, right upper pulmonary vein. The answer is B, left upper pulmonary vein. Which is closer to the interatrial septum when visualizing the aortic valve and face? A, non-coronary cusp, B, right coronary cusp, C, left coronary cusp, or D, posterior coronary cusp? The answer is A the non-coronary cusp. If any of you have any questions about your upcoming echo boards, feel free to reach out to me at ultrasoundboardview at gmail.com or you can personally text or call at 435-922-1635. I'm Jim with ultrasoundboardview.com. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.